actually fun to do this elsewhere. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> like I'm gonna laugh through this whole entire thing. <laughs> good morning, good morning. <laughs> How is everyone today? How are you doing? Happy Monday. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm laughing. All right, tell me how you're feeling this morning. I don't have a topic <clears throat> this morning. And, and to be fair, I'm a little, I'm a little spent for energy. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say right now. <laughs> how are you all doing this morning? Good morning, grand rising. <laughs> I'm not home. <laughs> um, so this is the face of a, of a uh, this, is, this is what it looks like when you're well fucked. This is <laughs> this is it, right? And so, can you imagine the? <laughs> this is <laughs> as you can tell, I had a really good day yesterday and a good morning. So this is this is a great example, though, of what happens when you're well fucked and and when uh, imagine your energy like this on a daily basis, though. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just gonna hear me laughing this whole entire live stream this morning. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> All right, so no, <laughs> when you when you are a well fucked individual, human being, and and I won't take credit for you know even if that's a phrase that Kimanami says it all the time. Your your whole outlook is just very different, right? You're just a much more cheerful person. Cheer cheer filled, cheerful. Person, <laughs> he's making me laugh. I can't stop laughing. You can't stop laughing. Like there's a whole lot of joy, right? That comes from that. And this is the importance of, hold on. Because it's one of the most excellent cups of coffee. This is the importance of getting in tune with yourself so that you become the proper antenna for people who will enter your life, who will fuck you up. Like that's 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 really the importance of this, and that and that vibration continues to just circulate through. That energy circulates through you, through your partner, through you, through your partner. And and can you imagine the type of life that you would be living? I mean, how often would you just be grumpy? How often would you be grumpy? Imagine what you could be creating. Imagine what you could be giving and clearly also what you could be receiving. <laughs> Imagine how much fun you could be having. Oh boy. <laughs> so I debated going live this morning because I knew I was at home and I was like, I'm not going to go live over here. And it was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, sure. Go live. I was like, all right. Um, and so this is, this is what the, this is what the experience is. So what I do want to do, what I do want to talk about to that end though, is within the sensual energy coven, what we are going to do, and I've, I, I have not done this before because I'm not, I'm not a huge vision boarder person. Um, I've created vision boards before, but I find, I find just creating vision boards by themselves to not be effective. And this is just my personal opinion. People, when they make vision boards, what they do is they put their wishes, hopes, and dreams on a piece of poster board and they hang it up. And they think if they look at it every day, that somehow, those things will pop out and come to life. There's so much more to it, you all. There's so much more to it. And if you're wondering why you've done vision boards and, and maybe you got like a half of one thing, you know, and a piece of the other, or you just got one thing off the board and you don't understand because you're getting up every morning and you're looking at the vision board. Emotion and feeling are so key to going into it. And not just emotion and feeling like staring at it like, I wish I had this, gosh, I, I, I can't wait till I have this, you know, and no, 
So what we're doing in the Central Energy Coven is we're going to do a sensual manifestation because everything that I like to do is sensual. Um, we are going to do a sensual meditation. We are going to get in the space of feeling first, first, before we start cutting shit out to put on the board, we're gonna get ourselves into this space of receiving energy, not the thing, energy. We're gonna get into the space of receiving because you can't manifest if you're not willing to receive, we gotta be open. So we're gonna get into that space first. And then once, we, once we're there and we're like, antenna's good, we're straight, I mean, and obviously this ritual is going to involve some type of, you know, you touching yourself because y'all know how I do. Then we're going to just have a good time on our Zoom, cutting our shit out, posting it on there, talking about it like as if like it's already happened. Like we're going to have a, a, a good old like like slumber party-esque feel to the whole thing. I'm going to have some music on. Y'all going to bring a drink. You're going to bring your snacks, you know, stuff that makes you feel good. I want you dressed in whatever makes you feel good. Right. I'm not recording this. I don't think I don't I don't like to record a lot of the stuff that I do. You just because to me, you just you have to be there. There's certain things that you just have to be there. You know, and the recording isn't going to convey the, the, the isn't going to com convey the energy. And also one of the reasons why we're doing this and why I'm doing this is because there's strength in numbers. The more of us who are together, who are in our own frequency, the more we create this huge bubble of energy, the more our energy pings off each other. So even though you're vibrating, your sister's vibrating, y'all are vibrating together, it's going to enhance your frequency and vibration. This is really the reason why people go to church and these other places is to enhance the frequency, right? So... That's what we're doing. And it's happening January 3rd. Uh, at, I think I said 9 p.m. If you're in the coven, let me know. I think I said 9 p.m. So if you want to get into the coven to do this, DM me. Uh, yeah, DM me. The coven is, the reason why the coven is, is, is by invite only, if you will. And I don't just have the link up. Uh, is because I want to carefully curate the space. Um, I don't really like lurkers. <laughs> I don't think that you should come into a situation and just like peek and not be involved. You know, I don't see why you would want to do that. I don't see why you want to pay for that. Um, and I want to, and I want to make sure that this is, you might have a different expectation of what the coven is than what it is. Right. So it's good for us to talk first versus me just send you a link and you just sign up for, for some, you don't really know, like you can read what you're getting into, but you should hear from me what you're getting into. Right. So that's why I do that. Um, and so far it's, it's, it's been great. It's been great. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're doing sensual manifestation for 2021. We are sloughing off 2020 because some of y'all have not sloughed off 2020 energy yet. You really haven't. And, and you're going to try and manifest for 2021 with, with this energy attached to it on the tail end of it. That I don't see how that will work very well. <laughs> So we're going to slough that off. I'm actually going to look at, at this. Thank you. Thank you. I normally don't always look at the, at the comments. Uh, for real. Okay. Yes, you do. You do. I can see it on my live. You need some dick in your pussy in your life. You absolutely do. It makes, it makes, it makes life better than it makes your coffee taste great that he made and the breakfast that he made and the, and the dinner that he made. Look, look, it just, it makes it all better. I don't know what else to tell you. Mm. And so this is part of my, this is part of my manifestation. <laughs> and oh, so this is very important. When it comes to wanting to create your life, it is very important that you deal with the traumas, that you deal with the energy of past relationships. Um, one of my friends and I, we were, we were talking about trauma bonding. And if you're accustomed to being, let's say you're looking to manifest love, right? It's a big thing. The same thing goes for money. Cause those are the two things people are always looking to manifest. If you're looking to manifest love in your life, 
and he and I were just we were talking about this as well. And you're you're used to uh, drama relationships of some sort. You're used to like constant arguing or cheating or any ing right that causes you pain. And then you you do the work. You know you think you've done the work, and someone comes along that has what you said you desired, but it looks boring. It looks boring to you. It doesn't carry that energy of excitement that your brain has become accustomed to. It doesn't carry that trigger of what you thought was passion, right? And what you thought was that, ooh, y'all know, it's like the infatuation feeling that you feel where like your heart is beating and your whole entire body just melts when you see them. And along with all of that, you know, um, mix of hormones comes the drama. If you don't understand the difference, then you will bypass the beautiful energy that you cultivated, that you said you wanted, that now appeared in your life saying, here I am. And you're like, that doesn't, it can't be that because I like these guys. It doesn't look like those guys, even though all of those guys treated you a certain way. You're looking, but you're still grasping for something over there. That's shit that we're gonna clear because you cannot receive in a space that's already filled up with something else. Same thing with money. Talking about you want some more money, you want some more money, but you always see yourself as broke. <laughs> Money's gonna be like, well, she don't want me. You want some more money, but you talk about how e evil people with money are. Oh, them rich folks, rich people are selfish. Money's gonna be like, I guess she don't want me. She don't wanna be selfish. You have to clear those ideas out of your mind, which means you have to stop seeing wealthy people as the other. You can't see them as the other and you wanna be them. How does that work? How does that work? Well, I'm gonna be a different type of wealthy person. Okay, well do, do that. But it's not that you don't wanna be like wealthy people. You don't wanna be a selfish person. And there are selfish people who are very poor, right? So let's not attribute that to having money because how's money gonna come to you when clearly you are repelling it at the same time? So this is why putting pictures up on a wall somewhere on a board, just, that's not it. It's just not it. There's more involved to that. So for the central manifestation, and really this came to me yesterday as I was in a lift over here and my clitoris was all tingling in anticipation of so much. And I was thinking about how this was created. And I was just like, nipples joined into that party. And I was like, I want to do this in the coven. And that was it. And then I posted it. Like, I'm literally in the lift, writing out the thing. And it's just flowing to me. That's, that's what happens when you're in the flow. Have y'all seen Soul yet, by the way? If you haven't seen Soul, there's this, there's this scene where you can see the people who are like in the flow. And it's like they're in the spirit realm. When you're in your flow, that's where you live. Like you just, you're right there, you're in it. So yesterday in the lift, I was in it. I'm in it now, I was in it. Like I, when you're well fucked, you stay in your flow. And and I'm, I'm typing it out in the coven and I'm just like, this shit feels good. I feel the tingling up my spine. I'm like, yes, this is gonna be a thing. I like it. Cause now I feel like, I feel like this is how, this is how it needs to be done. So I'm excited about it. So the, the central coven is for women. It's for women, sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, men. This is for women. Um, and uh, I will post more about, you know, I'll post words later today. Um, I'll work on my little picture to go along with it and I'll post that. And if you're interested in joining us on January 3rd, Sunday, it's a Sunday um, evening to like slough off 2020 to clear your shit. Like we got to clear your canvas before you start adding shit to it. Um, yeah, I'm not going to record this because it's going to be a sex magic thing. So I will not, I won't, I don't, I won't record. I don't record the sex magic, um, rituals. It's very in the moment for me. And I don't, I don't want to go back and look at it. It's, it's cause it did what it needed to do. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to come together. We're going to release some energy. Poof. 
and then we're gonna still stay on together. You gonna put your videos back on. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stay on, and we're gonna we're gonna work on some vision board. And can you imagine how good that's gonna feel? What? What? You're gonna be creating your vision board in like this this space. I'm just I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. So that's really it for this morning. I didn't know what I was going to talk about, but I guess that's I, I, once I got past all my laughter. But this is what it's like. It's just it's just laughter. <laughs> it's just laughter. Anywho, I love you. <laughs> Enjoy your day. If you're interested in joining the coven, just send me a message. DM me, and we'll talk. All right. Bye, y'all. See you tomorrow.